Hello, and welcome to Books and Beyond. I'm Jimmy Bennett, your host. Uh, before we get to my very special guest today, I just want to make a couple of mentions. Um, I'd like to talk about the Southeastern Connecticut Kappa Organization, Connecticut Office and Publishers Association. Um, we're a group of writers, editors, illustrators, uh, people from all walks of uh, the written word. We get together every third Monday of the month at the Groton Public Library at 630. So if you'd like to join or you have any interest at all, we'd love to see you. Come on down, uh, sit in on the meetings. Uh, it's a great group of people and it's a great way to network. And if you want to, if you're writing a book, want to learn how to write a book or do anything to do with the written word, uh, it's the place to be. Uh, other than that, uh, things have been pretty much uh, squared up. It's election day today. So when we get out of here, we're going to go vote. Uh, hopefully uh, that'll calm the ads and the text messages and the, you know, the rest. If you notice, uh, one thing I've noticed, uh, I just I just got to comment on this. I, I keep watching all these ads and all this negativity from the politicians about this one's extreme, that one's extreme, this one's extreme. And I'm thinking, well, everything's extreme. The economy's extreme. Gas prices are extreme. Food prices are extreme. You know, I, I, I just wish these people would talk about how they're going to fix things instead of, you know, why somebody, they don't like somebody. But anyways, that's my rant for the day, my, my political rant for the day. So my very special guest today is Shannon DePerry, the president of Operation Fresh Start, A New Beginning. Now, me and Shannon have known each other for a long time. We worked together many years yeah. at a couple of different restaurants. Um, More than 25 years, Jimmy. I was adding up the years. Was it 25 years? More than 25 years. Yeah. Wow. Well, and I got to say, and I'm going to say this from my heart, I don't know anybody who's got a bigger heart than Shannon. She's, she's doing wonderful work. Oh, you're so sweet. And Thank you, um, this Operation Fresh Start, I want to start with that. I want you to tell everybody what Operation Fresh Start is all about. Okay. Operation Fresh Start is a community-based Nonprofit 501c3. We help children in foster care, homeless young adults, families in need, and basically anybody that needs a hand up. Um, we are all community based, so we um, take donations of monetary donations. We take, uh, right now we're in the middle of a, a pajama drive. Uh, we take um, when we need it. We will hook people up with furniture. We have families that reach out to us that need that are moving into apartments that don't have anything, um, and we will put it out on our Facebook page. That's where we do most of our work is on, through Facebook, um, and we'll put it out. Someone needs a bed, a couch, this, 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 and we will connect those people together. Um, we do have a storage area now at a, at one of the local churches at the United. Congregational Church of Westerly, big shout out and thank you to them for yeah. giving us that beautiful classroom. Um, but we can't store a lot of furniture there. We don't have the room, but we have a place to work now when we're doing things. Um, so yeah, we're just um, helping as many people as we can every day. I, I know that this started right with a backpack drive. How no, many years ago? Luggage drive. Your luggage drive. Luggage How many drive. years ago was that? that? It'll be three years in February. Three years. Yeah, that we collected 600 suitcases and made 300 toiletry bags. Right. Just out of putting it out on Facebook that I'd be at Stonington Pizza from 3 to 5 on a Wednesday afternoon. Yep. And it just exploded, and so many people jumped on board. And Panera Bread, where I was working at the time, jumped on board with their, all their cafes, and it was just amazing. Like, I never intended on having a nonprofit. It was never something I even really thought about. This is it's um, really grown. But you know, it got put in my path. Somebody up there was telling me what I was supposed to be doing, and I right. and I listened, and I listened, and <laughs> For I, once. I I did uh, right exactly. Um, but it's been a great journey. You know, um, it's you can't unsee things that you've seen. Right. Um, and once you start something like this, you see things that um, break your heart. Right. Um, and if you can do something to help, you do it. Right. You know, it's just um, human nature to do the right thing. And that's what we do. And we have so many volunteers now. Um, our board has grown to 
seven people now instead of just the four of us. We, wow. we just had three more people um, jump on board with us that um, on our on our board, which um, took a lot of stress off me. Yep. Because they they do things that um, I just don't have time to do. Right. You know, I, I I have learned to delegate. Yep. You know, I don't have to hold on to everything. If if you put the right people in place. You don't have to worry about it. Yep. You know, and luckily I have a, a beautiful circle around me that that is super helpful. And and I know you're constantly in motion. You know, yeah. I, that's the thing I wanted to stress. I want people to understand that this is a community based. This is helps our community. When you donate to Operation Fresh Start, and I think it's wonderful, like the fact that somebody calls and says, "Hey, I need a bed," yeah. and then somebody's like, "Well, I'm getting rid of a bed, or I can get rid of a bed. Yeah. I got a bed for you." And then you make sure that that happens. They yep. get together. You know what I mean? And it's so much nicer than, it's, it's I don't know, it's, to me it's just like I feel better, I feel better helping people around me in my area. It strengthens our community. Yeah. Helps people, lifts people up in our community. Right. Makes our community stronger. Um, you know, I mean, I realize this beautiful, wonderful work they're doing with a lot of charities, but, you know, you send your money off to some of these big corporations you know, it goes into yeah, administration Yeah, I, I think that stuff, that is you know? something that um, kind of draws people to us, too, that they, right. because they do, we do, if you join, please join our Facebook page. Um, you'll see everything that we're doing. You know, look at our website and see, you know, we, we are constantly changing our website and updating it to what we're doing. Right. Um, and you'll see all the things we've done. Right. And there's testimonials from from people that we oh, helped. Nice. Yep. And I was having a conversation with my mother-in-law the other day and she had reread the testimonials and there's one about a girl and a butter dish. And I'm, that's all I'm gonna say, go on our website and read it. It's this beautiful testimonial that she wrote about how she had to leave everything behind and we got her hooked up with everything that she did and we gave her a beautiful glass butter dish that she cherishes. And it was just this beautiful story. And it's those little things like that, you know, do something to change someone's path. Right. You know, because it some, you know, we've all had hard times in our life. Um, everybody takes a different road, but sometimes you get stuck or you're too afraid to ask for help or right. you're ashamed to ask for help or you ask for help and no one wants to help you. That happens often. Right. Um, a lot of people have to, you know, to get help with certain things, they have to fill out applications, they have to, you know, make a certain income, things like that. We don't put that pressure on people. We don't have to. If they contact you, you if do they your contact best to help me, them, right? I, I will help them the best that I can. Yep. You know, and um, like just great things happen every single day. Last week is a perfect example, Jimmy. I had a mom reach out to me, domestic abuse situation. She had three children um, coming from a different state to get um, safe. They got her an apartment, but she had nothing. She had to leave everything behind, every single piece of furniture, kitchen stuff, she just bedding. Ran, huh? She had to go, you know, it was for her own safety and her children's safety. Well, lo and behold, a friend of mine that's a lawyer called me up and said, hey, Somebody told me to call you. You might be able to use some of this stuff. I have a house that um, I need to, to empty. It was a, a, a person that had passed away, and they had taken everything that they wanted out of the house. So I said, oh, sure, let me come look. But she didn't even know about the situation that I was right. doing at the time. So I go over. I look. I ended up knowing the lady. She was a lovely lady that I went to church with at a road church. And um, she, had a, she had beautiful stuff. So this girl rented a U-Haul, and she backed it up, and a couple friends of mine, and thank goodness, two, my friend's two young 20-year-old sons came and helped, and we loaded that U-Haul as full as we could get it. She got everything she needed to set That's up her great. house. You know, out of the kindness of someone in our community. Right. You know? And I know my friend that passed away, whose stuff it was, is smiling up there in heaven, uh, much, knowing that right, yeah. it went to someone deserving because she had a beautiful heart. But that's just how things, it's crazy how things just come together like that. Right. You know, without, you don't even plan it. You can't plan something like that. No. You know, that's somebody else working and, you know, I'm thankful. Yep. You know, but she, this, this girl has called me almost every day since that was last week. Um, and. She's getting it together. She's she's putting her furniture together. You know, it's she's making going to be able to make a life for herself. 
yep. and her children and be safe. Now, do you, do you put out like a, a list of stuff you need? Yes. On your website, is there a yeah, spot on, for that? On, uh, well, on our Facebook page. On your Facebook page? Yeah. So if you say, I need lamps or I need yes. a, and tables or I need a yes. desk. Yes, so or... what I'll do is um, it, people will reach out to me, and it's all anonymous. We don't give names. We right. don't post pictures of we'll po post pictures of their stuff, but not of them. Right. Um, unless they want us to, and, and that's up to them. But we, normally it's just of what we donate. Um, they'll let me know what they need. I will put it out on our Facebook page, and as things um, get donated, I put a heart or something, you know, whatever, some kind of yeah. thing that, that rec says that it's been donated, you know. And so far, everybody that we've helped, has, we've been able to get them pretty much everything they need. And then Operation Fresh Start takes it one step further, and we give them what we call a welcome basket. I was going to so, ask you about that. So the welcome baskets, they cost between $150 and $200 now, but it's everything that you need to set up your home. It's your trash cans. It's your, your um, cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, kitchen um, utensils, and pots and pans, and silverware, and dishes, and um, you know whatever else you need, um, uh, cutting boards, um, dish towels, towels, laundry basket, you know, we set them all up yep. with all that. That stuff is all brand new. Yep. That stuff's all brand new for them to set their house up. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, I think that's just wonderful because I, you know, you think about it and I'm sure everybody's the same way. You walk around, you don't think about the silverware mm. in your silverware yep. drawer. You don't think about the glasses up in your shelf, the plates in your, you know, thing, just little things like that. And then, you know, you reach for paper towels, you have them, you you know what I mean? You throw your trash in the trash can. So you many think people you don't have any of that yeah. stuff. So many people ask me for cleaning supplies. Yeah. You know, because um, people take pride in their homes. You know, and how oh, yeah. would you feel if you couldn't wash your dishes because you didn't have laundry so right, dish yeah. soap? You know, I mean, it, it, there's. It's insane that people don't have more. Even with dollar stores, you, they still can't afford it. You right. know, it's do I pay, and with the price of electricity and gas and everything else now, right? it's groceries and cleaning supplies are secondary. Right. You know? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's, uh, this world is insane right now, but, you know, we're going to do everything we can to lighten the load on as many people as we can. Well, I, I would say that too, you know, I really, we talked about this earlier. It's tough. It's been, everything's gone up. Price yeah. of every, everywhere you turn around. It costs you more all the time, and you know, and that might make you a little bit more hesitant about donating, you know, just, yeah. just human nature. You know, it's like, man, I'm, I'm sure. barely making it by myself. But I would say that to that, though, that, uh, you know, no matter how tight it might seem to you, or maybe, you know, you can't afford some of the extra luxuries or whatever, um, there's people out there who's got a lot less than you. Oh, absolutely. You and know? the thing is that when people donate, I, 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 I'm going to say this because I, I think there's a misconception about donating. You don't have to donate $100. You don't have to donate $20. If you donate $5, if, if we have 1,500 people on our Facebook page. If every person donated $5, look how much money that would be. Right. And that, would, that is big. Yes. You know, that's big. It doesn't have to be a lot. You know, it, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be a lot. You know, like, for example, we're in the middle of our, our pajama drive right now. Right. Last year, we collected 350 pairs of pajamas, no problem. You know, this year, it, we've been doing it for over a month now, and I think we're up to like 150, maybe, 160 pairs. You know, but we need 350 pairs of pajamas. Right. You know, you don't have to buy five pairs of pajamas. Just, just one. Yeah. You know, yep. you, you can go right to walmart.com and go to our registry and send it right to us if you want, you know, because we're still oh, I collecting. Oh, you do that. That's yep. great. Yep. We have, a, um, we have a, um, a registry on Walmart at Walmart. So you can go to Operation Fresh Start Pajama Drive um, registry and it'll just be shipped right to us. You don't, oh, nice. you don't even have to go to the store if you don't want. Oh, okay. You know, or you can get it through Amazon. Right. You know, we do, we do Amazon Smile also. So for every, um, if you're um, 
signed up for Amazon Smile for Operation Fresh Start. Um, a it's a small percentage, but it does add up. A percentage of anything that you buy on Amazon is donated to Operation Fresh Start. Oh. So we made, I don't know, we probably made $50, $60 last year on just from what people right. buy, you know? Y anybody can sign up for it, yep. you know? You just pick a, a charity and it's they, they keep track of everything and just send us a check quarterly. Do you have drop-off points? My, well, my house is the drop-off point. Your house is 93 drop -off Sunrise point. Avenue in Pocketuck. Right. Um, that's pretty much the drop-off point. I, I sometimes take drop-off stuff at the church if I'm there, but normally at my, my house is, you know, sent, right. everything's sent to my house, and then I schlep it over there. And, right. I'll have to work on that. Yeah. We're going to find so, you a spot. Yeah. You know? So, um, I like for the pajama drive, we do have some drop-off points. We have... Um, Mystical Horizon, I'm sorry, not Mystical Horizons, Holistic and Mystic, right over there on Roosevelt Avenue on Route 1 across from the Packer Building. Lovely girl, Yvonne um, Masters, that um, has this sh incredible shop. If you want to do some really great Christmas shopping, it's a great place to go shopping. Um, but she's a drop-off point. The Fun um, Outlet on Cutler Street okay. in Stonington. And also Polar Play in Westerly, which is a fun little gym that you can take your kids, like young young yep. kids, to play play at. Oh, okay. Um, they're also a drop off point for the pajama drive. Good. So good. So keep that in mind. You know, drop off a pair of pajamas. Yeah, we're gonna you keep know. it going. I mean, normally. I know that's kind of a special thing to you. I know you. It are. is Grammy's pajamas. That's yeah. what it's called. Because I believe everybody should have new pajamas for Christmas. Right. You know, and I'll tell you what. I, I another shout shout out to, and I'm gonna get the, the it wrong. But it, it's, it was, it's a teacher's sorority, and I'm not going to try and repeat um, what it was because the, there was too many words, and I, I'm going to get it wrong. But they invited me to speak at their um, meeting last week, right? Um, went to Gaetano's. What a lovely, lovely, lovely bunch of teachers, retired teachers. Some are still teaching. Most of them were retired. They must have given me, oh, probably 40 pairs of pajamas. Oh, nice. It was so nice, and they and they're going to continue to support us. They like what they they right. like what we do, you know. And but that's how we're based. We are based through community. Right. Um, we have several churches that that support us. Um, now this group, um, the Power of Together, has supported us. The Evening of Elegance adopted us last year and had this beautiful event last year, and we received all the donations. And it was a it was a sizable amount, and right. it's really going to help us. You know, for the th the big things that we do, like last year, we did the um, we did we did the playground at Thames River Family Program, and put oh, all okay. new. Um, it's all little kids, like yep. under five under five or six, and they had playground equipment that was more geared towards older kids. Oh. So it was kind of dangerous for the little tight right. little ones. So we got a bunch of like little tight stuff, like we got the um, safari truck and you know a bunch of other stuff and my husband my he's my maintenance thank goodness for bobby yeah um he took down this big metal and wooden structure that was pretty dangerous for right. the kids um home depot donated two pallets of mulch and we bought the rest and put new mulch down um and with the money that we saved with with home depot helping us we bought them two refrigerators that they needed oh wow you know we did that we sent i think 27 kids to camp last summer and oh, then we, I see yeah I know that yeah we sent kids to um the stonington human service camp which yep. was was a heck of a deal it was like i think it was 650 dollars for the whole summer oh, wow. monday through friday nine to four nice yeah so we sent we gave them a really nice donation we donated to the um stonington como um camp and we also sent kids to nest the new england science and sailing center Wow. You know, so we want to definitely continue that and get more kids involved in camp, yep. um, you know, because it, it takes the stress off the parents. I mean, I remember, yeah. I remember in the summertime, it was like, oh, holy cow, man, child care yeah. was outrageous. Right. You know, I mean, it's a lot of money. And right. now it's it's insane. I, I, I should have been a, I should have been a nanny. I, yeah. I'd be rich by now. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we try and we'll, we'll do that. We, um, we helped a young woman. Um, that was, um, she's, she'd struggled in her life, um, young girl, since she was younger, her mom passed away when she was very young, and, um, but she did really good in school, 
and she wanted to go to college. And all she needed, she got scholarships, she was set to go, and all she needed was her, the money for her entrance registration, and we paid for that. Nice. And then, we, then I took her shopping, too. That's good. Yeah, and we got her everything, you know, as much stuff as I could, you know, for her to go to um, college. The uh, Kyle over at Fun donated all her bedding. Nice. You know, so it, we just have such a great, great community around us. You do, you have, you have a lot of connections. Yeah. You help a lot of people, you know, it's great. Now, real quick, because we're going to keep yapping here, we're going to go over. Uh, toy drive. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about the toy so, drive. So, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, through for three weekends, out front at 489 Greenhaven Road, there will be a great big life-size Santa sleigh. That is in front of my mother-in-law's house. My husband built the sleigh. We yep. will be accepting donations of toys for children... Um, ages little to teenagers. Right. Um, but in addition to that, we are also we also have an adopt a family program. Um, you can reach out to me about that. Um, what you can do is you can adopt a family. You can adopt a couple kids, um, whatever you want to. If you have a business and you want to, like uh, for instance, Breakwater where I used to work is going to do a giving tree, so we will put um, tags with um, the, a gift on it, and right. people can just take, they can take one tag, they can take 10 tags, whatever they want to take, and then bring it back by, um, you know, whatever date right. we've chosen. Um, that's an, another way, but certainly I've had several businesses reach out, churches reach out that are adopting, you know, a, a few families or, you know, a family. So please, if, if you want to get in on this, contact me as soon as possible. Um, and I will get you right. what you have. We will also put out a list on our Facebook page. So please join our Facebook page of, of families that and details of what their children want. Right. You know, so that we get, you know, we want the kids to get what they want. And we don't wrap them. What we do is we supply wrapping paper and tape and we give it to the parents and let them wrap it right. so that they're part of it, you right. know, because, you know, I, it's it's tough at Christmas when you don't have money to buy presents right. for your kids. I can imagine. You know, I had a um, they a funny story. This girl told her um, her daughter that when during COVID that that Santa got COVID and he wasn't going to be able to get her presents. Right, the little girl was devastated. I said, absolutely not. I said, you tell her that my name is Santa Claus and that I'm Santa's cousin, and she will get her presents. Not to worry, and. First, she didn't believe me, but then she got all her presents, and now nice. she still thinks I'm Santa's cousin. And, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that, because maybe you. I well, am. You pretty much are. Yep, maybe you I know? am. I think that's a nice, uh, I like that too. It's a nice personal, you know, taking the tags or whatever. So yeah. you know that there's a child, you know that you're given what yes. they want. Yep. You know, just like they were your child or your grandchild. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just a nice little connection, Yeah, we also donate you know? to the um, the Stonington uh, Police Department yep. Villa Cruiser. Yep. And what they do is all the toys that they collect, they set up like a store. And the parents can go in and pick presents for their kids. Nice. So we, I, oh, we donated like a truck full of stuff oh, to them. So... And my mother-in-law, Pam Toraville, thank you so much for everything you do for me. She she puts all this stuff together. Right. I just give her the toys. She has the list, and she makes yep. the bags for all the kids. Like she's just, you know, right. she's just the best. I I love my mother-in-law. Now, we last thing we got to get to is the big event coming up next Monday. Oh yeah. Oh yes. All right. Uh, Noah's in Stonington. Shannon uh, reached out to him. And they are donating their space in the Champagne, the restaurant in the Champagne, for a Sip and Sign event. Now, the Sip and Sign event is going to be six authors, local authors. Um, as you can see up there, I'm one of them. Rose Young, Alexander Stoddard, Mike McGuire, uh, Monica... How do you Diorio. say it? Diorio. Diorio. Okay. Yeah. Monica Diorio and uh, Larry Zaccaro. Um, we're... All well, we, we kind of think we're talented writers, so uh, we're we'll all be writers. offering our books for sale and uh, and to mingle with the crowd. Um, there's going to be now who's donating the food? Okay, so what it's going to be? It's a thirty dollars yeah. per person. Right. You come in, you're going to get a, a book bag. Um, donate. You know, that's part of what you get when you come in. 
um, champagne and past hors d'oeuvres by local restaurants. Um, we have the Stonington Yacht Club, we have Water Street Cafe, we have uh, Hoofs, we have Longos, we have Engine Room and McQuaid's. Um, they're all donating hors d'oeuvres. We'll have people passing hors d'oeuvres, sipping on champagne, mingle with the authors. Um, it's going to be just a great event. Right. I'm super excited, but we are lacking in, in ticket sales. So advanced if, ticket sales. Yes, yes, advanced ticket sales. You can come the day, day of, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of room to get in. But if you want to get tickets in advance, you can call me at the number below. You can also Venmo at at sign Operation Fresh Start hyphen 2021, or you can PayPal to Operation Fresh Start dot 2021 at gmail.com. Either one, um, if you have problems with those, please give me a call. I can just put you on a list and um, you can pay at the door, and you know. I, actually, I have a couple of tickets too. So yeah, Jimmy has uh, tickets. I have, I have so. some tickets too. So yeah. if you run into me or you know how to get a hold of me, um, you know my phone number is listed up there, my email, um, and well, people know who I am. You you see me around. Yeah, um, everybody just, knows just you. Grab, yeah, just just grab me and I'll yeah. Send but you it's a really, I think I'm very excited. It's going to be a great event with some great authors, and you know, let's get to know these local people. We have so much local talent right. in, in this area. Right. You know, that's why we decided to do it that way with yep. local authors. And um, the proceeds, now the proceeds too are going toward Operation Fresh Start. Correct. Um, correct. Even the authors are donating part of our proceeds from our yes. sales to you. Yes. Um, so and 100% and of, the, of the ticket sales goes to Operation right. Fresh Start after um, cost. But everything, right. all the food has been donated pretty much. And um, they're going to they'll have a bar set up too, right? Yes, Maybe there will be, an, there will be a be cash bar. Drink, you'll be able to buy a drink if yep. you want. There's so. a cash bar at, um, at Noah's also. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great event. I'm. I'm, it's I'm really, looking. I'm really looking forward to it. It's really it's our fun. first big fundraiser, aside from the plant sales that we do right. every year. Um, so it's it's you know we want to have it be a, a success. Yeah. You know, and the money from that's going to help with Christmas. Right. You know, most definitely. Well, this so. is yeah. This is this is the other thing, and also, um, you know, you might find a couple of good books for Christmas presents, too. People. Uh, you know, exactly. Always, if you have friends that, that like to read, I, I can attest to um, Jimmy's books are all wonderful. Um, I've read my husband like loves Michael McGuire's books. I read Alexander's books. I'm looking forward to reading um, Monica's books yeah. and getting it for my granddaughter when yeah. she's a little bit older because yeah. um, she rips the pages right now. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, we need we need cardboard books for her still. So. All right. But, well, Shannon, I can't tell you how much. I've enjoyed having you on today. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. And, I love uh, being here. And I want to thank you for all the great work you do. You really... Oh, thanks, you. I mean, you. Uh, there should be a statue well, someday. Well, this is... We're going to work on Right it, next to John Kelly. Uh, there we go. Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I can replace Christopher Columbus right now. Yeah, there now you go. The, yeah. The yeah. Statues they took down. So. All right. So, look. Keep an eye out for next Monday night, the 14th at Noah's. Um, that's it for Books and Beyond today. Thank you very much. It was a great show. Uh, see you next time. Thanks, Jimmy.